Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the S2 Mobile prototype. Um, you're looking at the prototype installed on a notebook. Uh, what you see here will be running on uh, CentOS G5 robot platform uh, soon. So uh, let's start with the information section. Uh, it contains access to um, multimedia content and um, also some internet news streams. So let's go ahead. One. One. Down. Up. OK. As you can see, we can browse through the images one by one, and we can also start an automatic slideshow. Uh, you can also see that the interface is nicely animated and quite smooth, actually. Um, yeah, what's uh, important to notice is that this is running on quite low-end hardware. So this is a quite old notebook and uh, it also matches the G5 robot platform which is also not that powerful for reasons of uh, battery concerns. Stop. Back. Two. Okay. Down. Down. Up. Stop. Back. Three. Okay. Full screen. Stop. Down. Down. Okay. Full screen. Stop. As you can see, both the video section and the music section follow a playlist-like structure. And the user can just navigate with uh, simple commands like up and down, play and stop to browse through the selection of media available. Back. Four. One. Compassion key to elderly care. Being compassionate should be an important right. part of being cleansed. Fit to ease worsening concerns. The government will attempt to draw a line under the controversy surrounding its work experience. Right. Strongly secured primary Left. victories. Fit to ease worsening concerns. Back. As you can see, we have integrated an RSS client functionality um, and combined it with the text-to-speech output of Simon so that the text from the new source would be read aloud by the system. Back. Back. In the second part of the Simon Dutch interface, the communication section, users can communicate with their loved ones through an easy to use interface. Two. On the left hand side, you can see a contact list, which will be filled automatically with the contacts in your address book, which can be stored locally or can be stored on the internet or remotely somewhere so that uh, caregivers or people in your family can update it for you. Down, down, two. The system uses Skype for the actual calls, so you can call around the world to, uh, with very cheap rates. Hang up. Two. Down, down, three. You can also send messages to uh, the people in the contact list either straight to the phone using SMS or to the computer or smartphone uh, through the use of emails. Well, for this we use the touchscreen interface, so let's try that out.
and of course you can also read messages for you can again see a list like interface that can be browsed through the use of up and down and this is also integrated with the TTS system so the system will read the messages out loud for the user down 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 Back. Back. Of course you can also receive calls, including live video feeds. Accept. Hi Matthias. Bye Matthias. Hang up. Okay, the third feature of the Simon Touch interface is to be able to send the robot on small scouting missions. So let's see the check functionality. Three. There are a few pre configured targets uh, that the robot can check up on. So if we are going to select, for example, the doors, then the robot would navigate to the front doors activate the front-facing camera, which we just mounted here for demonstration purposes, and uh, record a small video, navigate back to the user, and play it back for him. So let's see if this works without the navigation, obviously. Two. We can see that the robot simulated the navigation with a two second pause N is now recording. And now he's navigating back and Our displaying the video. Surveillance video. Stop recording video. Stop. Back. Back. If necessary, external caregivers can open up a specific web page which will show a live video stream of the webcam of the robot. Starting live video stream. They can also send the robot around with this control down here. The robot developed for this solution is called Astro. If he's not around, you can call him by his name. For this, you can use either the microphone on the robot, or you can use a um, smartphone like this one. So let's call him. Astro. And you can see the navigation is triggered, and the robot will move to the user. So let's move on to the request section. Four. Here the user can send off requests to uh, a pre-configured um, contact. So, for example, we can look at the shopping functionality. One. One. Okay, here we get a list of available products, and the user can select uh, products from this list. And when selecting order, a message will be sent to, for example, a caregiver or a family member to buy these items and bring it to the person. Okay, let's try it out with a couple of uh, items. Plus, down, down, plus, right, down, plus. Okay, this would order one bottle of mineral water and two bottles of milk. Okay. This will now send an email message to the selected caregiver to buy these items and bring them. The same feature is implemented for the medicine. So, for example, two. 
Again, it's the same idea. We can just have different items to select to, and we can provide a different mail address uh, to send to, uh, for example, a different person or directly to the, talk to, uh, to the doctor of the patient. Back. Back. This leaves the transport and support section, which right now is just a portal to some different phone numbers. So, for example, two. Here we see uh, pre-configured numbers for taxi, ambulance, and private transport. Selecting one of these options would just call the associated number. One. Hang up. This concludes this little demonstration of Simon Touch. I hope you found it interesting.